women who are now in their 80s prove that friendship can last forever. Caressa Stinchcomb introduces us to a pair who unexpectedly, but literally, knows the meaning to the funny saying, don't forget about me when you're famous. What's so nice about it is that we have those memories now of what happened then. Paul Purdy and the well-known Dale Brown grew up in Minot together. Success came to both of them, despite their different paths in life. I forget, we used to have kind of a joke. Someday you'll brag about knowing me. I was just a joke, but it came true with him. Brown went on to be a renowned basketball coach at Louisiana State University, while Purdy stayed and worked in Minot as a dentist. Even with a distance in all of these years, the two have stayed in contact, making sure to touch base at least once a month. He's my friend, and your old friends are usually your best friends in the longest time, and he's, he's, he's always been a fun guy to be around. Purdy is suffering from dementia, and while he may not remember everything some days, he always remembers Dale and the good times they shared. Well, that's one thing about Dale. He's uh, very down to earth. And he also, he and I both have a sense of humor where, you know, we could uh, write the script for the Tonight Show. The two reminisced about state tournaments and, of course, cracked a few jokes. But you told me you had a four-point grade point average in college, right? <laughs> Correct. Uh, Correct. Well, that's what you told me, so I checked it out, and you did. Yeah. The way you figured it out, you had one as a freshman, one as a sophomore, one as a junior, and one as a senior. And you <laughs> added it up and thought that was a four-point, right, Paul? That's correct, Dave. And it really uh, makes me feel wonderful to know that he can bring that kind of joy to my dad. Paul Purdy and Dale Brown are living proof. Friendship knows no distance and is just a phone call away. All right, Dale. Thanks. Love you, man. Okay, love you, Paul. Reporting for KX News in Minot, I'm Caressa Stinchcomb. Well, I just love that story. That made my night.